Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use our IP geolocation API in Power Automate to get basic information about an IP address. This can give you a lot of useful information including the city, country code, country name, region, time zone, and more. I'll demonstrate how to use this connector by creating a really basic button which asks a user to input an IP address and then emails them the same output information. Let's get started. From the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow. We're going to use a manually triggered flow and customize some stuff right after, so just click that option for now. Then click Create and you can move on to the Flow Diagram page. From here, let's first click on the manually trigger a flow bar and select Add an Input. Here, I'm creating a simple text input labeled IP address and then asking the user to include the address they want to geolocate within that field. Now we can click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of Cloudmersive connectors, select the Data Validation Connector with the bluish logo. As a quick aside, around this stage, you'll be prompted to authenticate your connector access with a Cloudmersive API key. You can get one for free by registering a free account on our website, which comes with 800 free API calls per month and zero additional commitments. Once you enter that in, it will save for the next use just like mine has. Once all that is out of the way, search the connector actions list for geolocate an IP address. It should be pretty high up on the list, so you can also just select it outright if you prefer. Once you do, you simply need to pass the parameter from the previous trigger step. To do that, just use the dynamic content window and scroll down until you find the field that you created. Now it's time to wrap up the flow by creating an email that will be sent back to whoever triggered the flow in the first place. Click New Step and look for the Outlook V2 option of Send an Email. Once you select it, you can include dynamic content to specify that the email should be sent to the user who triggered the flow. Then, you can give your email a relevant subject. I recommend parsing the IP address here so you know what this email is specifically about. After that, it's time to customize the message body. This is where the bulk of the output content from the operation should go. You can really arrange this info however you want. For this video, I'm just demonstrating a basic layout which captures the most rudimentary locational data. Now it's time to test the flow. Click save at the bottom of the page, then after a few seconds you can click test and confirm your connections and such. If everything looks good, click run flow and await your results. After a few seconds, you should get an email with basic locational data in the format you specified. One really important thing to keep in mind, however, is that you won't always get every piece of information you ask for from every IP address. For example, sometimes things like city or zip code will be left out if they aren't retrievable. If you want to perform security checks on those IPs with little information available, you can easily integrate another of our IP intelligence APIs and identify if various threats are present. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Powered Automate tutorials in the near future.